Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. I'm Chris of the K. There's a link in the description to my website. Today we're going to be looking at disabling your caps lock key or swapping it with something like the escape key. Now, a lot of desktop environments have keyboard setting applications where you can go into the GUI and do all this. We're going to do it in the shell because that's how we do things around here. Uh, Plus, it's just a simple way to do it. You can also, maybe you want it to disable or swap under certain circumstances, and you can script that out. And there's many different options to do this. We're looking at a, uh, two different options, uh, two different programs that will do this for you. In the X environment, uh, a lot of the videos I've been doing lately, people have been asking me if I'm using X or Wayland. I am using X, hence the, the programs using today have an X in their name. And that's just how I roll for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and just look at this. So if I hit A here, you can see that there it types a lowercase a. If I hit caps lock, now it does a capital A, lowercase a, capital A. Uh, and the indicator light, whoops, for my caps lock button is over here. So where is it? Right there. So I can go caps lock on and off in case you were wondering. Um, so how do we disable it? Well, we can use a program called Xmod Map. And we're going to give it the dash E option. We're say key sim caps lock equals, and we're not going to give it anything. And if I was to hit enter now, and I was to hit A, and then caps lock, and then A again, you can see it's a little lower, still lowercase. I can hit caps lock as much as I want. We have disabled it. If we wanted to re enable it, we can run this command xmod map dash E, key code 66, which is the key code for this key. We're going to set it to caps lock. And now, I can hit A, caps lock, A, caps lock, A, caps lock, A, and you can see that we have re-enabled that key. So we have disabled it and re-enabled it. Let's say we want to swap it again with the escape key, because some people, uh, you know, they, they don't necessarily want it just disabled. They might, may want to give it some other functionality. So we're actually not going to swap it. We're actually going to set the caps lock to be escape, but the escape key will still work like escape. So here we're going to do xmod map dash e key code 66 and we're going to set it to the escape so we're going to say escape no symbol escape we're going to do that now again if i hit a caps lock a caps lock a it's actually working like escape which in my shell uh does different things uh let me go into vim real quick i'm going to hit n for new file and in here you can see that i am in insert mode and if i press caps lock i am now in normal mode i can hit i and you can see that my escape key still works like an escape key, and so does the caps lock. Let's exit out of that. Now, let's say we want to reset it back. Again, we will use this command, xmod map e, and we're going to say uh, key code uh, 66 equals caps lock. Now it's back to acting like a caps lock. So that's using xmod map. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that application. Next, we're going to use a program called set x kb for keyboard map, okay? And what are we going to do? Well, first thing we can do, there's two options to disable the caps lock key. I can do this. I can say set XKB map dash option control no caps. I'll run that. And now, as you can see, huh, I didn't undo it. So I'm, I'm stuck in cap lock mode right now. Let's go ahead and undo it by doing this. We're going to say same thing without any options. So we're just going to say set XKB map equal dash option with nothing else past it, right? Now it's back to acting like caps lock. Great. Now, let's say, let's look at another way to do it. We can also disable it. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. Uh, we're gonna say set XKB map dash option caps none. So that's one option. And that was the other option we ran there. I don't know technically what the difference is, but as you can see, I can do A and caps lock is disabled. And again, to re-enable it, just erase any options, just run it as so, and now it's back to being like caps lock. Now, let's say we want to set our caps lock key to work like escape. Well, here we can say set XKB map option caps colon escape. Now. Let me go into Vim again, new file. And again, I'm in insert mode. I can hit A, caps lock, and it didn't give me caps lock. You can see I went to normal. And if I hit I, I can hit escape. I can hit I and caps. So caps 
and escape are both working the same. I can quit out of that application. Again, if I want to set back the defaults, now caps lock is working like caps lock. Last thing, something that I know how to do with this application, instead of just setting caps lock to be escape, what if we want to swap them? So caps lock key works like escape. Some people like that because it's closer to the home row and they don't use caps lock, but maybe you still like caps lock. You like yelling at people online, so you like using the caps lock option. We can set escape to be caps lock. And again, I'm using escape as an option. There's a handful of keys you can do this with. But again, we're going to use set xkb map dash option caps, and this time we're going to say swap escape. Now, if I was to go back into Vim, create a new file, you see I'm in insert mode. Caps lock takes me out. If I go back into insert mode with I, if I hit escape, it doesn't insert. But if I start typing, you can see I have caps now. I hit escape again, and I'm lowercase escape, and I'm uppercase. I hit caps, and I'm back out into normal mode, and I can quit out of this. No, I don't want to save. And again, to set it back to the defaults, we're going to run set xkb map dash option with no options. And now we're back to having the caps lock act like caps lock. And that's a couple of ways to modify your caps lock key. Either disable it, change it, swap it, or set it back to default options. I hope you found this video useful. And again, I know there's GUI applications for allowed desktop interfaces, not all desktop interfaces. So this is convenience to know. But also you can, again, uh, modify this to where at certain times under certain circumstances, it runs these functions with a script. And that's what scripting is all about, to automate stuff. I thank you for watching. As always, hope you visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. I also have a Patreon. Link in the description, patreon.com forward slash melix1000. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.